Hi, everybody. We're back. This is first episode of, yeah, first episode of Fragrance and Friends. Um, so today we have a very special guest because he is a friend of mine, but he's also someone who knows very well perfume. So we'll have a chance to talk about um, the perfumes that he likes. And he also knows a lot of, you know, a lot of very niche brands that personally I didn't know. So it will be the opportunity for us to learn very much from him. I will let him in very soon. Please welcome my friend, Augustin. He should be here in a minute. Hi, Augustin. Hi, everybody. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, and you? Yes, I'm, I'm good. It's very sunny today in Paris. And first of all, I want to yeah. say thank you so much for doing this because it's Sunday. It's no, super it's early in the morning. And, uh, and I remember the first time that I introduced the project, you were very like, uh, oh yes, that sounds good. And yeah, you nice. were on board right away. So yeah, thank you so much for taking the time. Uh, this is the first time that I'm doing such an interview via Zoom. Okay. Uh, this is my show, Fragrance and Friends. And uh, as you may know, it's all about discovering friends through perfumes and the scents they like to wear. And this is something that I told in my introduction, um, is that you're someone who already has a very dense sensibility for fragrances. Yeah. Because we met quite a few times and we discussed about it already and I said also that um, there are some some brands that you know that you talked to me about uh, that I didn't know in the past so yeah maybe you could tell us uh, your favorite brands and how you got to discover them. Okay so I had an experience in a perfume store so uh, this is why I know a bit uh, kind of different brands, like for example, Pierre Guillaume, it's a brand from uh, Clermont-Ferrand. It's a niche uh, perfume uh, brand and uh, the scents are always very different from uh, the scents as you know on the market. It's pretty new, very woody and also fresh. So Ooh. this is why I, I really like this brand. Uh, the brand image is very nice too. So uh, this is very nice. But you also have on the market uh, the brand like uh, Byredo. Uh, that's yeah. uh, yes, that is on, on the market uh, from many years now, and uh, it's a very interesting brand that uh, mix uh, some scents and it's also very new. The packaging are very nice, uh, very uh, design. So yeah. yeah, and you have one from them actually. Thanks to yeah, you, I, I got to discover Mujev Ghost. Yeah, this is uh, the one that I am, uh, Mojave Ghost. Uh, I really like this one. Um, it was a, a very uh, nice experience to find this new uh, perfume uh, after many years of uh, something. Uh, I went something very new, uh, different that I had before. So yeah. this is a good one. And I also uh, have one from um, Pierre Guillaume. It's Akezos. And uh, it's a very nice one, more woody than uh, Bayredo, because Bayredo, you can find scents that are very fresh with yeah. touch of uh, musk, for example. Okay. And uh, it's more woody. Uh, yes, we, don't worry. Don't worry, you guys. We will put the links. So, Augustin, you will share with me the links yeah. of all those okay. brands that you just mentioned so that we can include in the description because yeah. yeah it sounds very exciting and even myself i really need to discover those actually do you know if they have a proper store in paris or is it more like in a in the department store that you can find them you have one for Terrium uh, in uh, le marais and for Bayredo, i think they have uh, one store at uh, the faubourg saint honoré uh, normally yes so they have stores, uh, and they are you can find them on concept stores for example in bordeaux uh, next to Marseille, for example. Yeah, brilliant. So right from the beginning, you mentioned um, Pierre Guillaume and other brands uh, yeah. that they make woody and fresh scents. 
are these the notes that you look for when you buy perfume? Yes, I really appreciate when it's woody and spicy, but I want not something too strong. I'm not okay. uh, like that. I, I, uh, I really like when uh, the scent is good, but not too much either, I think. But woody and spicy are my favorites. And how uh, did you, like, how were you introduced to those kind of notes first? Did you grow up wearing those notes already or it's growing up, uh, you discovered that this is what you like to wear? No, I think that after um, different perfumes, uh, this is um, the scent that I prefer. Uh, when I was young, I had um, Aqua Di Gio from Armani. Yes. Something fresh, uh, but with many different uh, perfumes. I think I prefer woody and spicy, but I <clears throat> I have different tastes. Uh, if it's, for example, <clears throat> sorry, home fragrance, I prefer something very fresh and floral. And if uh, it's for me, I prefer something woody and spicy, but for example, with Byredo, there is a little touch of floral with musk. So I think uh, I try to test some new things. Yeah, and do you like to change perfume uh, when we switch seasons? Um, I try to, but uh, I have just two or three perfumes. So um, I really take time to find so, a new perfume. So when I found the one, uh, I try to have it for a long time. Yeah. Uh, uh, but yes, I, um, I mix. Uh, it depends on, on the mood and on the season too, yeah. I think. And can you explain the process of how you discover fragrance? Is it first digital, you find something on Instagram, the visuals, they speak to you right away. So you think, oh, that might sound good. And you go to the store afterwards, or you just go to the store, try to discover something randomly. And yeah. you ask to the sales assistant to, you know, to show you the okay. way. How do you uh, I process? Prefer, uh, yeah, I prefer to go uh, in store uh, because you have uh, advice. Uh, you can try. You can uh, see if you like it or not. Because today with the digital, uh, I think for this kind of market, uh, it's not easy. Uh, you have some um, some comments, but you you cannot uh, uh, try them. Uh, So I think I, I prefer to go uh, in store and to have uh, and to talk with uh, a sales assistant, for example, and, and to find some things that can match with what I want. So yes, hey. I prefer. But sometimes I can uh, read on the magazine uh, a new brand or a new perfume, and I will try to find a store that will uh, have this brand to try. But. Uh, I know you can buy perfumes online and you will have a little uh, échantillon and try it and after uh, yeah. see if you will uh, take it or not. But I think it's very different. Uh, I really prefer to, to, to have uh, the, this experience in store that yeah. I think we will not have uh, online. Uh, so yeah, I prefer... Yeah. And uh, for example, in Paris, when you have the big stores like Galerie Lafayette or um, Le Bon Marché, you have different corners and you can- Totally. Uh, you can- uh, You can get lost and just right, navigate. Yeah. 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 And this is exactly what I did last week when we've opened you know, the stores yeah. and stuff. Um, as it's been a moment since we were not able to go back to the store and during this pandemic, I've seen so many new launches on Instagram. For yeah. example, you have Eden Rock by Joe and the visuals were very appealing. So obviously it made me want to try. So last week I went to Galerie Lafayette and I just got lost and just went from corners to corners, from brand to brand to discover the new launches. And, um, and it was, yeah, like very nice to be back And yeah. also to have the presence of someone who is an expert who can help you and try to find the sense that will match your personality. Talking of personality, how would you describe, um, I mean, your allure and 
um, what do you want a perfume to say about you when you wear it? Um, maybe I, I really appreciate when it's not a perfume like everybody has. Uh, so I try to find something a bit different, I think. Um, after that, uh, I think uh, something not very, uh, not too much strong, but something uh, a bit dis discreet. Yeah. Uh, I think. I don't so know about you, uh, what you prefer. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about balance. You like balance, something unique, but something very discreet, close to the yes, skin. I think, yeah. You don't like when you enter a room, you don't like people to notice that you're here? Yeah, for example, no, I don't. Uh, oh, okay. Because I think I had experience with people uh, who had uh, a very strong perfumes, but it depends. But I don't think it's my personality to have something uh, yeah. too much. I agree. You're very shy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. Um, when it comes to me, I don't know. I think it really depends on the mood because yeah. I have... I, okay, so first of all, I have perfume for each season, but okay. also I like to wear perfume like you wear clothes, you know? So today, for example, as it's very sunny and bright, um, if I had to go out today, I would go for something fresh, something fruity okay. and bright, and something that would just make me feel, you know, fresh. Okay. But for example, in Paris, if you go out during uh, winter, I would love to have something oriental and warm and maybe something stronger because um, I, like, I like oriental scents that are very loud. And I like also when I go somewhere, you can smell, you know, you can sense that I yeah, was yeah. there. I see. Okay. But it depends on the mood because okay. also I feel like I'm shy too. So yeah, I like to, to have the choice. Okay, nice. Do people notice your perfume when you hang out? Do you get some feedback? Do you get uh, comments? Yes. Uh, I, for example, with the one from Pierre Guillaume, I always uh, had a very nice comments. I said, oh, this is very nice. Uh, I love uh, the scent. Uh, this is a nice one. And they also say that it's uh, woody and spicy. So they found uh, the notes from the perfume. And when it's by Redo, they don't, uh, they say, oh, it's a nice one, but uh, I think I, I had um, more comments about Pierre Guillaume. So I think I will uh, buy a, a new one from, from this brand because oh. uh, I think uh, I want to try a new one from, from Pierre Guillaume. Okay, so you want to discover a new creation? Yes, uh, and new creation. maybe one for more for summer because they have, something uh, more uh, very fresh with blue oh. packaging it's uh, another um, another type of perfume that they do so i think i will try uh, a new a oh new wow perfume. yes we really need a new summer fragrance yeah. because i'm looking for it now as well okay and um but the one i have in mind is a brand that's not famous at all it's a very like a uh, craft uh, perfumer yeah. Uh, it's called Liquid Imaginaire, and they have okay. a corner in Le Bon Marché, uh, walking in the Bon Marché, and the girl gave me the tap and she made me try. And it was very, very fresh. You had citronelle and mint, and oh. yeah, it was very fresh, And um, but it was during winter, so it didn't talk to me back then. But okay. now that we're entering the summer season, I would definitely love to try it again on my skin. And okay. yeah, this one I keep in mind because it's very nice. Okay, nice. And of course you have all the, the Tom Ford things, uh, Portofino, you yeah. know, with the I don't know, uh, the Tom Ford, uh, I will yeah. try it one day. <laughs> yeah, okay. definitely nice for summer. Are you aware of the evolution of perfume, meaning that now they can they, they launch new uh, format of perfumes. So you have dry perfumes, you have uh, perfumes that are organic uh, with natural ingredients. Do you think this is the future of perfume? Um, yes, I think uh, people want change and brands uh, try to evolve and to innovate. 
with uh, research and development, I think. And um, I think they, they work on um, client needs mm -hmm. and people really want uh, in engagement and brands try to, uh, and I think it's a good, uh, th this is on the good way. But uh, yes, for example, when you have uh, an organic brand, uh, people want to try uh, to see if they really appreciate that. But for perfumes, I, uh, for the moment, for, for me, I, I didn't try. But for cosmetics, uh, like typology, I really appreciate this brand. But they don't do perfumes. So, but I, I think I, I will try, but uh, on social media, you have a lot of brands that try to do, for example, organic brands. But they don't do it yet. Maybe it will come later. Yeah. I think. <laughs> you know that some brands, they do uh, bottles that can be refilled. Do you yeah. have any of those in your collection? Uh, no, uh, I don't. I don't have... Uh, but I know that some shops like Sephora, you can go there and uh, give them your old uh, bottles and they Yay. give you a discount. Oh, that's true. I forgot uh, this. But, uh, but it's a, 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 big, uh, a big store. Okay. I, I, I don't know for Byredo or other brand if they do that, that you can bring us your, your bottle with nothing inside, with no perfume and they can give you another one. So for today, the names we need to remember, Bayerido, Pierre and Guillaume. Pierre. Yes. These are the main fragrances that you wear and that and, you recommend. Uh, I really appreciate to Diptyque. Okay. Uh, Philosikos from Diptyque. It's from, uh, it's a fig tree uh, basis. So very different than I had before, but uh, it's a very nice one too. And I think for summer, it's a good one. Too. Pierre yeah. Guillaume is still going to be the next one because <laughs> yes, you would I like think. to get a new one <laughs> from them. Mm, of course. And they have a store in Paris. Yes, uh, in uh, Le Mar. Okay. Uh, oh, I would definitely love to discover that. I will yeah. first go on the website, of course, to see what they have. And yeah, yeah it would be nice to discover. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Augustin. I think uh, yeah. it was very interesting. We learned so much from you with those yeah. references that you have. And uh, of course, it's always a pleasure to talk about perfume. Um, I'm pretty sure that we will carry on this offline. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, thank you again for being the first guest on the Zoom interview. Um, I hope that uh, everybody will like Pierre Guillaume and Bayredo as yeah. much as we do and of course anytime that you have a new one please let us know so that we can break down the notes and the specificity of those perfume and um, see you very soon then yes thank you very much it was a very nice experience <laughs> <laughs> thank you see you bye bye <laughs>